Well, it's 3 a.m. on a random Tuesday and I be coding. This is not just my story, it is the story of almost all of my developer friends and uh, I know you did not click on this video to know when I work, you want to know what I do. But I just wanted to give you a little disclaimer that this is the life that you are being sold, this is the dream that you are being sold. Well, with that out of the way, let's talk about what we software engineers actually do on a day-to-day -day basis because nobody shows you that in their day-in-the-life videos. Well, it's mostly because we are not allowed to talk publicly about what exactly our company or our startup is doing and that is for obvious reasons. But I can sure give you an outline of how things work, the hierarchy, the roles and the politics, hopefully without getting fired. So. As you have seen in numerous day in the life of a software engineer videos, I mean, I'm also guilty of that, I've made that too. But as you've seen in this video is that most of our time goes into checking emails, writing code, meetings, understanding documentations, crying over bugs in my code, verbally abusing my tester, trying to debug those problems and contemplating between whether I should throw my laptop or myself out of the window waking up and doing that shit again. And people spend a lot of faltu time in meetings, like almost all corporate workers will agree that 90% of the meetings that we have in a day can be done with one single email. People just keep meetings to feel like they're working when they're not, right? And bro, like you'll hear people saying, bro, it's very crazy, bro. I've been doing six meetings in the morning, bro. Really? Okay, back to the chase. So, software engineers are generally separated into two segments, like very broadly. One is front-end engineers, other are the back-end engineers. So, front-end engineers are responsible for everything that you see on your screen, like this video, this search bar on top of this video, all the suggested videos over here. When you click the like button, the sparkles and colors come out, like really try it. All that sparkles and everything, all that is programmed by some software engineer who is a front-end developer. Now, back-end engineer actually set up the methods, the systems, architectures and databases behind the scenes. Like when you click on this video, how does this video come from the database of YouTube to your browser? That is a backend method. That is an HTTP request that goes to the backend code and that fetches this video to that particular browser or whatever browser you're using. And other things like when you click the like button or the subscribe button, the number gets updated and it also gets updated in the database as well. All that thing are done by the backend developers. Now there is obviously a third kind of developer, the dragon warrior of developers, someone who can do both front-end and back-end. They know both of those things and they are known as full-stack developers. And generally full-stack developers earn twice as much or even more compared to front-end or back-end developers. Now that does not solve all the development related problems of a company. Like mujhse as a YouTuber, ek YouTube channel ke sare data thik se manage nahi ho paate. So you can imagine that any company or a decent sized startup who are working with hundreds of customers they cannot possibly store their data in like hard drives or physical storages because there are problems for one key in ko store kahan kar? second problem is how do you make sure that these are always available because agar ye tumhare laptop se connected hai and tumhare laptop internet se connected hai when you want to shut down your laptop it, this data is not available anymore and third and the biggest problem other than all the security issues is that these die out of nowhere randomly so I can sort of afford losing my own videos, but when you are working as a company, you cannot afford losing your customer data. That would be lethal. So what do we do? What do companies do? Companies actually get the storage on a cloud. It's not an actual badal. It's like the cloud storage is hosted somewhere else and you are using their storage. You are paying for Google storage. That way companies are basically paying for some amount of storage and processing power from either Microsoft Azure or uh, AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. And there are other options as well, but these two are the biggest in the industry. Almost every company uses one of these. And as I said, if you're the backend of your program, is running on your computer it will not be available 24 7 because you can turn off your computer and the program is not running anymore what do we do aws azure all of them have like servers on the cloud as well so what do we do we take our program to the cloud server and run it there that way our programs our applications our websites or whatever is available 24 7 all i've said about this cloud services is like 2% of this whole functionality and for the other 98% of the functionalities that I don't want to discuss and honestly I don't understand much of it there is someone called an Azure developer or an AWS expert whose whole expertise is setting up 
and managing and optimizing all of these functions so that the company the application or whatever it is or a service a product is never offline and it is running very smoothly while being on the cloud storage so looking at this from a very hierarchical point of view i'll give a very stupid example all these ceos and people in charge of business marketing and product they will have these long as meetings and someone in this meeting will say do i have the best idea we should play a song whenever someone clicks the search button that way people will not be bored as long as the page loads and everyone will be losing their fucking minds on that particular meeting they'll think it's a very good idea and trust me they actually come up with really really weird decisions but again it's their company they can do whatever they want the developers are generally part of the implementation part of the whole puzzle so if it's a small company generally the developer will be told ki bro search click karne pe gana bajna chahiye bahut important hai the developer will figure out how to do this he will implement this he will also test ki okay thai se kaam kar raha hai ki nahi galat gana to nahi baj raha click karne ke kitna time baad tak chal raha hai wagera wagera he will test and then he it will be pushed into product but agar ye ek badi company hai it's a bigger organization then there will be more people involved in this whole process there will be more scope for miscommunication there will be more chaos obviously and there will be ultimately more time taken and more investment into doing this small small little thing but yes some senior developer some senior software engineer will now take the call okay how we are going to do this then he will tell the developer ki aise karo kaam then the developer will actually implement it and hand it over to someone called a tester or a qa which is a quality analyst and uh, these people bro i tell you they will take a lot of time to test this small little thing they will test it in all single scenarios like ki bhai incognito pe gana baj raha hai ki nahi mobile pe gana baj raha hai ki nahi tablet pe gana baj raha hai ki nahi sahi gana baj raha hai na gaane ka pitch sahi hai ki nahi sab kuch elect- test karenge and if it's all good it can be pushed into production by the way if you don't know what is production because something getting pushed in production basically means it is available to the customers or the clients or the world whatever it is. now this is one type of work the other type of work is bug fixes solving like problems that are already existing in the code and this is as next level of bt because you have to understand code that someone else has written okay तो उसको देख के तुम तीन घंटे तक अपना सर खुजाते रह जाओ कि ये बंदा करने का ट्राई क्या कर रहा है एंड देन फाइनली यू डिसाइड कि ओके लेट्स जस्ट कट टू द चेस एंड लेट्स जस्ट कनेक्ट टू दिस गाय लेट्स टॉक टू हिम एंड आस्क हिम ऑन एंड सम हाउ बाय सम डिवाइन मैजिक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे वो बंदा हमेशा हमेशा लीव पे होगा वो होगा ही नहीं ऑफिस एंड फिर क्या सोने पे सो होगा यू विल हैव टू स्पेंड द होल डे स्क्रैचिंग योर हेड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस गाय हैज रिटन एंड ऑनेस्टली इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ जार्गन बट दैट इज व्हाई आई से इफ यू एक्चुअली वांट टू लर्न अ लॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एवरीथिंग द फ्रेमवर्क आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स यू शुड एक्चुअली प्रेफर स्टार्टिंग योर करियर विद अ स्मॉलर कंपनी और अ स्टार्टअप बिकॉज़ देयर यू विल गेट एंड टू एंड वर्क वो तुम्हें बोलेंगे कि भाई ये वेब पेज बना दो जहाँ पे एक सर्च बार हो जिसको क्लिक करने पे गाना बजे इस पे ये रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम होना चाहिए एंड व्हेन यू क्लिक ऑन द सर्च बार इट विल आल्सो ऑटो कंप्लीट द वट एवर टेक्स्ट द यूजर इज पुटिंग इन सो इसमें यू विल लर्न द होल थिंग ऑफ हाउ अ वेब पेज इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड कैसे उसको होस्ट करना होता है कैसे तुम्हें उसके स्टेट्स क्या होते हैं कौन सा फ्रेमवर्क तुम एंगुलर लगाओगे नोट चेस लगाओगे यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स बट वेन यू आर गोइंग इन टू अ बिगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर जस्ट अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ अ पजल यू नेवर गेट टू सी द होल पिक्चर वहाँ पे बस तुम्हें उतना ही काम आएगा कि भाई क्लिक करने पर गाना बजना चाहिए ब्रो ये गाना नहीं दूसरा गाना बजना चाहिए दैट विल बी ऑल द वर्क दैट यू डू एंड इवन आफ्टर ईयर्स यू विल only be understanding like 10 to 20% of the whole code base unless you are going out of your way to understand the code base now that is not something people are doing obviously but if you are in a software engineering job or if you're looking for a software engineering job for money just like me this is the best case scenario get into a bigger organization because obviously they will pay you more than a startup or a smaller company kyunki i mere ko janna hi nahi hai pura puzzle main khush hu chote part mere ko bas apna monthly salary de do main all good like honestly if you just want to settle down have a peaceful life without worrying about money software engineering is amazing mahine ke end mein mota check aa jata hai tumhe 6 8 ghanta max to max kaam karna padta hai per din ka in general and fir uske baad tum ghar aao netflix dekho game khelo movie dekhne jao aur har weekend ko doston ke sath daru piyo it's very chill there's not much stress around it only problem that you will face is corporate politics and bhai it is worse than the actual politics politics people will mislead you so they can publicly help you later on people will give you misinformation and tumhare peet peeche ab tumhare manager se kharab baatein bolenge thankfully i have a very good manager and jitna kharab hai utna funny bhi hai ki yaar 
दस परसेंट पंद्रह परसेंट अप्रेजल के लिए लोग क्या कुछ नहीं करते आई गेस आई कुड गिव यू अटर इन साइट अ बेटर आइडिया अबाउट हाउ डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स वर्क वॉट आर दे आर थिंग्स दैट दे वर्क ऑन अ डेली बेसिस and let's all of us let's like all of us get together and actually collectively pray that my manager doesn't see this video yes uh, so you can li- li- hit the like button to see the light sparkles and one like is equals to one prayer <laughs>